He was a legend in Massachusetts politics, a power in national politics. Late this afternoon, family, friends, and yes, politicians gathered in Boston to remember the late House Speaker Tip O'Neill. Brett Thacker joins us from the Rose Kennedy Greenway with the story. Brett? RT, it was a spirited gathering here above the tunnel named after Speaker O'Neill. You can see over my left shoulder now a memorial stands here for pedestrians to see his many accomplishments. Now with a commanding view of Boston down the Rose Kennedy Greenway today, friends and family gathered at this park here at the beginning or the end of the Greenway as you want to look at it with the Zakem Bridge behind them to remember all of Tip O'Neill's accomplishments and all that he gave to the state of Massachusetts and to the country and to honor him. His son led the little ceremony. His grandchildren unveiled the memorial. Now, Speaker O'Neill was the second longest speaker in U.S. history. He was also the first Democratic speaker of the State House in Massachusetts history. And many of those here today remembered his many accomplishments. What Tip O'Neill, I think, in many ways stood for was to make things as equal and create equity and equality wherever he possibly could. By taking down this infrastructure, it really reunited some of the fine old neighborhoods of Boston to the downtown of Boston and made it certainly more livable. He stood up for peace in Northern Ireland. Uh, he fought against death squads in El Salvador. Whenever there was an issue, Tip was always on the right side whether it was the easy thing to do or the tough thing to do, and that's what I admired most about him. Tip O'Neill has left a legacy physically, but I think even more morally and politically in the best sense that we get the, the privilege to celebrate today. There is a one-man show honoring Tip O'Neill running at a theater in Watertown. Members of the congressional delegation expected to attend tonight. In Boston, Pratt Thacker, NECN.